I read a book called iRobot. Who's read it? Stick your hands up. Yay, some of you have read it. Wonderful. Um, one of my favorite stories out of that is about this, this robot who annoys a human being. Okay? And uh, anyone got annoyed by a robot? <laughs> um, and, and the human being says, I'll oh, get lost to it. Right? Well, it always has to do what it's told, didn't it? So it removes all distinguishing marks from his service and goes and stands with a whole pile of new robots that have got no distinguishing marks on them. I want that robot side already. Isn't it wonderful? Okay? Uh, it's, really, it's really good. Uh, so, robotics have been kind of around in everybody's ideas for, for a while. I, I watched Horizon a few days ago. And it was supposed to be about curing cancer. Okay? So one approach was, was using gene therapy. You can't do that stuff without robots. Okay? You just watch them in, in the lab. Nobody said anything about this, but they were just getting on with doing all the testing that was required. Okay? Um, another one was, what you do is, you irradiate your cancer, right? Well, if you put a big dose in, everything gets blasted and, and you know, it, has, it has horrible side effects. So what you do, is you, you, you put a narrow beam through this and it's very low power, all right? And it goes through the, the cancer and then you do it again with a different angle. And then you all right, 200 different angles on this thing, all right? So the surrounding tissue sees nothing at all, basically, and the cancer gets hit by 200 times a day. You see what I mean? All right. Really clever. And what makes it happen? There's a robot arm with the, with the, uh, with the treatment device in it. So it, it's, it really is... Uh, extraordinary. The, the most amazing one out of the whole lot was a uh, robot surgeon. Anyone see the robot surgeon? It was superb. What, they, what they've done is, it's a combination of, of NASA and the, and the US Department of Defense. What they want to do is to put these things where there isn't a surgeon, like in space. Okay? So you get here, like this thing is supposed to be able to operate on you. And uh, so they had this expert on, on cancer. And he was sitting at the other end of the room looking at the screen, and, and the robot was kind of following his hands, okay? Well, he did clever things like it didn't cut blood vessels, even if his hands said, you know, it's stuff like that that goes on, okay? So uh, robotics has got an immense future, and you guys now know what it takes to make that work, right? You have to argue with real physical pieces of equipment. <laughs> and you have to write very clever programs, and you've done it superbly. I really enjoyed watching the competition um, and, and the ingenuity uh, and skill that you guys have shown um, this afternoon. Okay. Where's this?